Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn how to use events in SolidJS and how to handle them in our SolidJS tutorials. In my previous video, I have explained about signals, installation process of Solid. Please try to see that for better understanding. Let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. Here, we have an app component and inside this app component, I want to create some set of buttons and that buttons I'll be using to update some UI so that comes under the events and how it happens in our SolidJS. Let's go into the coding part. So now what I'll do is already we learned how to create a signals by using the snippet called as solid signal SSIG and when you hit enter it will create some set of state over here. So now my case is I want to create a name and I want to create a set name. So this is my name and set name which is a setter get setter and getter methods of a signal and now it is something like psi by default now what i want to do is i just want to showcase this in a h2 tag and that is nothing but name hyphen i want to show something like name so now we have a name which is a getter call and this will be showing you the name whatever we have created in the signal by default now let me create a button for us which will update this name. For example, I'll use something like change name and whenever the user clicks on this change name, I need to call a method. So let me save this and what I'll do is I'll use an event over here. How to use an event in SolidJS? By using on click that is a capital C and an event name prefixed with on. So that will act like an event and this will be having a callback function and inside this callback function I can use called as set name and I want to set a new name for this. For me whenever I click on this button I am just generating a random number so math.random and this will generate a number and I want to use something like to string because the type of the signal is string and the type of random method is a number so I am converting into a string and just I want to append this by using psi so let me use something like psi and concatenate with random number let me save this go here and just reload so we got some error reference error create signal is not defined if you see here create signal we have created over here but we don't have any import for this so let me use an import statement let me save this and go here just reload this now you got a name with psi when I click on this if you see psi is appended with a number that is a random number how many times I am clicking on this button that many times this psi name is appended with some random number so that's how we can create a name and an event on a button this syntax is same like react but even SolidJS supports a normal click event like small letter C and let me use the same thing save and go here just reload and click on this. So in SolidJS it is not mandatory to use C as a capital letter but in React if you see it should be in capital letter that means even it is looking like a JavaScript plain JavaScript or vanilla JavaScript. So that's how a SolidJS events can help us to trigger some set of events on a particular event handlers now this is about my button over here and I can even create some set of input fields so let me create a name same like input field and this input field will have a property called as value and the value is whatever we have over the name and whenever user input something that means either we can use small i or capital I. Small i indicates a vanilla JavaScript pattern. So let me use set name and this set name should be equivalent to the event value whatever triggered from this particular event handler. So let me get an event from this event dot target dot value. So this is the value which we are getting from this input field and a placeholder. So let me use a placeholder over here and the placeholder is enter some name save this go here now by default we have a signal with psi let me update this kumar 
so it is updating parallelly so it is creating like a two-way data binding when I update this input field automatically it is updating all the values wherever that signal is used and in our previous video we learned about whatever the updates we are doing only that updated value will be triggered and remaining tree structure will never be disturbed right so in that way if you see we have sai k and I am updating KU and only this particular node is getting updated and remaining things are not re-rendered. You can see here Sai Kumar and this is Sai Kumar and only this particular node is getting updated. So this is about input field and on the input field you can you even update by using on input in a capital letter of I and let me go here just update this as Kumar and it is just updating over the value. Now this big syntax we are trying to type everything but there is an advantage from our snippets so let me comment this and use the same thing by using a snippet the snippet is s that is solid and input and hit enter it will create the type it will create the value it will create the input so now what we can do is just I'll use this value over here and set name over here so everything is created by itself whatever the properties you want to add extra that can be added over here let me save this now go here just type something it works the same so that's how the snippet helps us to create the input fields in a easy fashion now we are using a event and that event is inlined with the callback function but if you have a function over here how we can use that so for example I have something like const name update and this is one arrow function let me use a arrow function over here and this is my handler so I can use this handler directly on this instead of doing the same operation over here I can even do in external function so that this function can be reused for us so let me copy this and put it over here and you can pass the event for this and that event can be received over here let me save this go here and just reload and now type something it gets updated we are using an event and we are passing that event instead of doing this we can do another approach just remove this by default the name update handler will receive the event whenever you are not calling it we are not calling it just we are referring to it so whenever there is an action event over here k u m a r so automatically this handler will send a data for this as an event when to use this format this format can be used whenever you want to have only event not the extra parameters but if you want to pass any of the extra parameters then this event will not be suitable so we have to use a arrow function and that arrow function we have to call with the parameters for example here in the case I want to pass event I want to pass event so in this case either we can use arrow function or we can refer to this name update because this event can be passed automatically but if you want to pass an extra parameter let me consider like Kumar if I want to pass this extra parameter then it has to receive that extra parameter so that's how you can use a arrow function for the events and without arrow functions in the events so all the events are similar to HTML vanilla JavaScript only the cases the way how we interpolate them or bind them is bit different and this is similar to the react syntax so there is nothing change compared to react syntax and solid js syntax coming to events of solid hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you